I have a really special story today that I want to share with you because I have a feeling maybe some of you are feeling like I am. Like sometimes you're you're sad because you're thinking that you don't get to see people that you normally do. Like I am sad that I don't get to spend time with you in the classroom like we did for six months. That's very special memories for me and I wish we could keep doing it. Um, I want to share you, with you my shirt I'm wearing today in honor of that. It says, My Students Stole My Heart. So this book has got to do with that and how we're feeling. I know that um, in addition to not getting to see your friends at school and to see me and Miss Berlin and people like that, the other thing is, is that there might be some other people in your lives that you're not able to see right now, like grandparents or aunts or uncles or maybe just other friends that are outside of school. Or So this story hopefully will make you feel a little bit better. And it's called The Invisible String. And the author is Patrice Kartst. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. And it's illustrated by Joanne Lou Verhoff. I'm not sure I'm saying that right either, but I'm going to show you really close so you can see the person's name. And it's to the children of the world and the magic of their strings. This is a really cute picture. Liza and Jeremy, the twins, were asleep one calm and quiet night. I like how they made the picture, the illustrator made the picture in blue um, to make it look like it's shadowy, like it's not daytime, it's nighttime. Suddenly it began to rain very hard. Thunder rumbled until it got so loud that it woke them up. Mommy, Mommy, they cried out as they ran to her. Once again, I love how the illustrator did this because the illustrator, um, when they're coming from the dark hallway, it's shadowy, it's kind of blue, but then when they open up the door where Mom has the lights on, you can see light on her. So they're starting to go into the bright room. Don't worry, you two. It's just the storm making all that noise. Go back to bed. We want to stay close to you, said Jeremy. We're scared, Mom said. You know we're always together, no matter what. But how can we be together when you're out here and we're in bed, said Liza. Mom held something right in front of her and said, this is how. Rubbing their sleepy eyes, the twins came closer to see what Mom was holding. I was about your age when my mommy first told me about the invisible string. Can you see anything in her hands? No, because invisible means you can't see it. That doesn't mean it's not there. I don't see a string, said Jeremy. You don't need to see the invisible string. People who love each other are always connected by a very special string made of love. But if you can't see it, how do you know it's there, asked Liza. Even though you can't see it with your eyes, you can feel it with your heart and know that you are always connected to everyone you love. Here's the picture. I'm going to read that line again because it is so important. It has such an important message. Even though you can't see it with your eyes, you can feel it with your heart and know that you are always connected to everyone you love. When you're at school and you miss me, your love travels all the way along the string until I feel it tug on my heart. And when you tug it right back, we feel it in our hearts, said Jeremy. So I don't know, some of you might remember that at the beginning of the school year, you were feeling sad about saying goodbye to your parents when you were at school. So, but then maybe you felt the tug of the invisible string to make you feel better. I love how the leaves on the tree in this picture look like hearts falling. 
Does Jasper the cat have an invisible string? Liza asked. Sure she does, said Mom. And best friends like me and Lucy, asked Liza. Best friends, too. How far can the string reach? Anywhere and everywhere, Mom said. See, friends, so even if you're not able to see your friends from school right now, they are tied to you with invisible string. And probably thinking about you a lot and enjoying seeing your pictures. Would it reach me even if I were a submarine captain deep in the ocean, asked Jeremy. Yes, Mom said, even there. Look at that. That's such a beautiful heart that the fish formed in the school of fish. Boy, that looks like an interesting job, too, doesn't it? Or a mountain climber? Even there. A dancer in France? Even there. That picture is of the Eiffel Tower, a very famous place in Paris, France. Very beautiful. They light it up at night. A jungle explorer? Even there. We've got more leaves that look like hearts. Wow, that looks like a cool job. How about an astronaut out in space? Yes, even there. See the heart, the invisible string, is still connecting them to their family. Then Jeremy quietly asked, Can my string reach all the way to Uncle Brian in heaven? Yes, even there. Does the string go away when you're mad at us? Never, said Mom. Love is stronger than anger. And as long as love is in your heart, the string will always be there. See, they kind of did something a little bit naughty there. They painted the, the wall. And Mom doesn't look happy, but she still loves them. The string is still connected. Even when you get older and can't agree about things like what movie to see or what game to play in the back seat or what time to go to bed. Oh, that's right. You two should be in bed. Mom is realizing, uh-oh, she needs to get them back to bed, right? It's getting late. But she has something important to talk to them about. And with that, they all laughed as Mom chased the twins back to their beds. Within a few minutes, they were asleep, even though the storm was still making the same loud noises outside. See all the hearts of all the people that connect them through the invisible string. It's looking after them while they're sleeping. As they slept, they started dreaming of all the invisible strings they have and all the strings their friends have and their friends have until everyone in the world was connected by invisible strings. Because right now, friends, I don't know if you know this, but um, besides us um, having to stay in home more than we used to, other Cities around the world are doing that. Other countries, other states. We're not the only ones that are trying to stay home more to be safe, to help everybody be safe. And then at the bottom of this page, it says, and from deep inside, they now could clearly see no one is ever alone. I think this is such a beautiful picture where it shows that all the people are connected even if we can't be right next to each other right now we're still connected with our invisible string and here's mine to you have a good day